Hey everyone, it's your girl Janelle Tamiko Lichi, your Netflix watching buddy. Can you guess what show I'm about to review for you? That's right, I am going to review Sweet Tooth. Netflix says there's a 98% chance that I like this. I wish Netflix could stop telling me what I like. First things first that I need to address is this suit going on right here and I'm actually experimenting with some neem at the moment I have reapplied my grind neem and it works well with the team just pretend I was eating some dear food and that's all that remain okay so I am on the first episode of sweet tooth let's address the elephant in the room all right is this a bestiality show i am having a difficult moment accepting the storyline of a uh, hybrid babies just appearing out of the abyss with some correlation to a pandemic dear sweet tooth I do think that somebody needs to start questioning the woman in this first episode. Where are they? And what have they been doing? Why doesn't anyone want to address it? Huh? Come on, sweet tooth. Netflix, why do you think I would like this? Have you been spying on my internet browser history? You're out here alone, isolated and whatnot. You probably aren't in a company. Are you? In a company? Alone. I've lived here alone by myself for nine years and uh, 17 weeks and three days. This guy looks like Jim Carrey. Let's do a quick check. Is this Jim Carrey? You know, mm, doesn't look as though Jim Carrey is there. All right, the guy looks like Jim Carrey though. We press on. cast of Bambi has become hybrids with humans. What's going on? We're having a dear moment here. I feel like I'm looking at Bambi. I feel like this is a serious Disney flick. You will her joy, Gus. Night of joy. What happened? Yes. What Guys, happened? We're separated. It's here. What's me? Her name was Birdie. Her name was Birdie. I love that. I hear her voice. 
you know if you like maleficent you would like this it has this kind of real disney-esque thing bright sharp images lots of yellow light it feels magical i do like it a bit it's interesting The music makes it all emotional again. I can't cry. I have to cry like this on the outside of the eye. We always love when we get a little um black love there. Yay! So I understand how he got his name Sweet Tooth. Wait a minute, the credits said that this Sweet Tooth show was made with DC? This is what I found out. Sweet Tooth was actually a comic series created by Canadian Jeff Lemire in 2009 for DC Comics Vertigo Imprint. The current project that we see on Netflix was developed by Robert Downey Jr. and his wife, Mrs. Susan Downey. It is directed by Jim Miko and the showrunner is Miss Beth Schwartz. Do you know that the pilot was filmed in New Zealand in 2019? In 2020, filming was resumed when Netflix took over the franchise for the series which was aired on June the 3rd. Season 1, Episode 2 of Sweet Tooth. Sorry about all the dead people. Now, I don't know if this is a little politically incorrect or a bit brash or harsh for all those who, um, unfortunately, we lost due to COVID-19. I also lost a family member, so I'm not even going to ask around now. Let's check this clip out. It's amazing how they are portraying a pandemic as the end of the world. Is this a documentary? Watching this during a pandemic and you look out the window, no planes are crashing, you know, people not running around screaming. Were people acting this way? At the announcements of the pandemic has been literally in that situation minus the hybrid it would have been it would have been more fun where are my eyes where are my eyes oh thank you hi eyes there you are it actually would have been more fun if that clip with the pandemic was really literally what was going on other than the fact that we locked in and people dying over a million people and they told us to lock in and isolate but we're not it's not so much pandemonium like they're making it out to be there you know we actually chill eyes eyes we're we're actually chill some people are still going on vacation nothing's crashing outside um this place looks pretty normal actually i'm watching netflix during their so-called end of the world.
Okay guys, just want to take a minute here to bring you up to speed with the aim of the game. We got to get to those 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers so we can make this channel a hell of a lot more interesting. I have some stuff I've been collecting that I am ready to give away. So just to get the ball rolling, we want to get to 100 subscribers. My 100 subscriber, I'm going to give you a special prize. And after my 100 subscriber, my 1,000 subscriber, we're going to give you another prize and once we hit that 1000 subscribers the giveaways will keep coming so like tag subscribe comment share tell a friend get a friend to subscribe let's get those numbers going up thanks in advance guys we have finally gotten the explanation for these hybrids apparently the hybrids are the reason why earth survives the pandemic so look all below, some hybrids are coming up. It's because you kept the earth dirty, you littered the oceans, and then hybrids were created because they would live on the earth and not destroy the earth. They're not going to take from the earth. They're just going to take what they need. Really nice. How do you like... All emotional and I love how the narrator kind of, Each one of us. goes back and narrates with some sort of poetry and repetition of lines to tie the story together of course the hardness of this child is what pushes the story along however you know you do get caught up in the emotion and the music and you could forgive him for acting dumb during a pandemic and putting other people at risk for being hardened. He's a hard little child. But you can still watch his show. Oh, damn. Okay, so it's done. I was just getting so wrapped up in the thing and it's finished already. So, sweet tooth, yes, it's worth the watch. It is worth the watch, you know. Let me summarize it for you. So, sweet tooth is supposed to be a post not really post apocalyptic i guess it is the apocalypse it's a tale of love and separation loss and friendship a lot of extremes going on in this and it's a futuristic sci-fi but what is sci-fi when it's really happening in real life you know so it is about a pandemic it bears a lot of parallels to the current covid 19 pandemic that's going on and considering that this is a 2021 release you must wonder how all right this app with no eyes thank you thank you for the eyes hello eyes you're pretty important yes eyes. so sweet tooth sweet tooth is a tale of contradictions a balance between fairy tale and sci-fi fairy tale and reality futuristic sci-fi and satirical play on current events the fact that it's released in 2021, I wonder if it was written during the pandemic or if it is just a coincidence that the story is about the apocalypse, which was brought about by a virus. You know, was this a play on the COVID-19 situation? Like, which came first, reality or Sweet Tooth? It's a Warner Brother flick presented on Netflix. It's good. It's good yeah so let's talk about the characters give warner brother kudos all lives mattered for warner brothers we have most ethnic groups represented i did not see an asian as in chinese japanese type i did see east indian the main character of course did paint the stereotype you know the smart doctor east indian couple who looks a lot like monk this guy has this worried look down pack 
Sweet Tooth has to have a season two. We just got into the thick of the thing. I think it's eight episodes that I saw and then it was over. I just got all comfortable. Coming down to the last episode, I did fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie, I fell asleep. Um, and it took me out a little, a hot minute to do episode eight. It will hold your interest. Yes, so I just wanted to check the rating on Netflix and it is 13 years and above, which I could agree with. Even though the main star, Sweet Tooth, is about a 10-year-old boy, there really are some images that could affect younger children, give them a little nightmares. It also has violence and violence towards children in it. Implied. Implied. Right? So I don't think it's appropriate for children under 13 and let's honor that. No sex scenes or anything like that. Um, if you're a nature lover, I might enjoy some scenes there. It's so many contradictions in this show. I do like it. I do like that it's a black man who is one of the lead and then an Indian couple who is the lead. Thank you. Open. Thank you. Jeez. You know, for a while I was liking this filter, but I'm not liking it so much because my eyes keep sticking. What else can I say about this show? All ethnicities are starring in this show. They really are equally. Does it play into a couple of stereotypes? Yes, but I mean, it's a stereotype, but it's also based in truth. So we can't hate on Warner Brothers for that. So Sweet Tooth gets my two thumbs up. Look at it. Give me a comment if you've seen it before. Let me know what you think. This is your girl, your Netflix watching buddy, Janelle Tamiko Lichi. And you just looked at the review of Sweet Tooth. Like, share, subscribe, tag a friend. Remember my aim is to get to 1,000 subscribers. The 1,000 subscri subscriber. <laughs> my 1,000th subscriber gets a prize. Do you know what it is? Maybe it'll be a Janelle Lichi exclusive. Be that 1,000 person. Find out.